Welcome to another edition of Pensy Underwire. Where am I today? I'm in a location that I'm usually at, the Northeast Corridor, the NEC. Today, we're going to talk about the Northeast Corridor. I don't think I've ever talked about it before. Let's shed some light about the Northeast Corridor. Northeast Corridor runs from D.C. to the south and Boston to the north. 457 miles. miles of trackage, give or take. It shares trackage with commuter rail, Amtrak, and freight. Some of the commuter rail that it shares with are the MBTA in Boston, Shoreline East, Metro North, Long Island Railroad. New Jersey Transit, SEPTA, and Mark to the South. Some of the freight, tra- freight traffic that traverses the Northeast Corridor, CSX, Norfolk Southern, Conrail Shared Assets, Provident Worcester, and Connecticut, uh, New York, and Atlantic, and Long Island, and CP Rail. Some facts about the Northeast Corridor. It is the busiest commuter passenger rail line in the United States by far. The Northeast Corridor sees over 2,200 trains per day. That's between Amtrak and commuter rail, local commuter rail, and freight trains probably. Not sure if freight trains are calculated in there. Uh, There are over 108 stations along this route. 30 of them are Amtrak, 78 of them are commuter rail. Just some ridership numbers. Amtrak in 2020 had 6 million riders ride the rails. Um, A drop-off compared to 2019 where Amtrak saw over 12 million passengers ride their rails. It's not even considering the amount of commuter rail people that have traversed this trackage. Standard gauge track. There's between two and six tracks. In this location where I am now, there are four. I am at Fallcross Station in the Northeast Corridor. It is a SEPTA station now. Interesting thing. New York City's Penn Station marks zero mile post on the railroad, whether you're going to the north or to the south. 229 miles north of Penn Station is Boston. 225-ish miles to the south marks D.C. from Penn Station. Everything originates from Penn Station. I am at mile marker 97 or 96.7. Oh, boy. So, the railroad, the first section of the railroad, the Northeast Corridor, was built in 1834. The final section was in 1917. You might be wondering, how much voltage is up there? In New York and Boston, in that area, over 25,000 volts. Down in this area, 12,000 volts. It's electrifying. I hope you enjoyed these little, this little history about the Northeast Corridor, a place where I come a lot, but I rarely talk about. And uh, I was pretty astounded by some of the numbers that I came upon when I did some research on it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be taking you to some more locations along the Northeast Corridor. Whether it be in Merlin, D.C., Boston, or right here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoyed this. Comment below. Tell me what you liked about it. If you like seeing stuff like this, let me know too. If you have any facts, put them down below too. Be well, be blessed. Until the next time, I will see you under Pensy Wire. But wait, don't go nowhere. There's some trains too. Did you hit that like button, by the way? Enjoy the trains. Southbound to Southern. Northeast Regional.